Azalea Hart from Chum 104.5. I'm sitting with a legend. We're going to call him a legend. James Pickens Jr., Grey's Anatomy, Dr. Weber. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we are massive fans. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I was on the radio and we were talking about Grey's Anatomy. I'm the go-to person to talk oh, about it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> we're going into season 19. Season 19, yeah. Did you ever imagine that it would go this long? Oh, my gosh. I was just hoping for nine episodes. I'll make sure I can give them some residuals or something after right. it was all done. And so, yeah, but no, I had. No, I, I don't think anybody had any idea it would turned into this juggernaut but right. it's been amazing so where do we think season 19 is going uh well you know we we're, we're not allowed to give away stuff but if there was a word i could use to describe night 19 it would be transition 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 yeah i, I think uh it's going to be very exciting i think the audiences will be uh be really satisfied with how these stories are going to unfold. But it, yeah, transition would be the, the best way to describe it. One question that I always had every time I watch is I feel like the characters on the show, they get really angry at each other for certain things. Mm -hmm. Like There's times that Dr. Weber has gotten mm -hmm. so mad at Meredith. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like I, I don't think I've ever had a friend mm -hmm. or family member in my life speak to me the way that some mm -hmm. of the characters, the cast members, speak to each other in the show. Yeah. What do you think that's about? Is it because it's such a family? Yeah, and 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 it reflects how how we we deal with each other. As you may not even be family, you may not be blood family, right. but you spend so much time together, so much invest, invested emotionally with folks, and you you want to see people succeed. And our, you know our show is, is, is has not shied away from showing character flaws, for lack of a better term. And I think that's one of the things that has engaged audiences for these eighteen seasons yes. is the fact that we, our writers have shed light on these characters when they when they're kind of ugly, uh, uh, but also when they take that ugliness and and turn it heroic. At the end of the day, and and that that gambit between those emotions and those those character traits leads to arguments and self reflection and um, advocacy you know, and accountability, and that translates into anger and and admonition, you know, and um, holding the feet to the fire, and so that's that's what you see when you see that, yeah. With the Weber method, do you, as yourself, uh -huh. James, do you feel like that should be abolished? Like, are we no more? Like, oh no, I thought that? the Weber method was great. I mean, it's just you know, it's like any experiment. You know, you gotta, you could do it, and then you, you know, you kind of tweak it here, and you know, elevate it here, and get rid of the stuff that you really don't need here. But you, you have to go through the process. And so the Weber method was going through the process. Right. Sometimes that leaves some, uh, there's some um, collateral damage with it, you know, that you don't yeah. expect. But, right. you know, it's, it's part of the process to, to ultimately come to something that's going to that's gonna benefit. Before we wrap this up, I have yeah. a little bit of a game okay. to test your Canadian knowledge, I guess. Oh, it's Lord. just this or that. So you're just gonna choose one or the other. Okay. But it's terms that you may not know. Okay. But you've been here a few times, so you might. So if you are going to Tim Hortons, which is of course our coffee house here, okay. are you ordering A, a double double, or a Wayne Gretzky? I'd have to say because I've met him, I've played poker with him actually, I'd have to say a Wayne Gretzky. Okay, do you want to know what you just ordered? I'm scared. <laughs> what did it I It is say? a coffee with nine sugar, nine cream. Oh, that's right up my alley then. Really? Oh, yeah. What's your coffee order in general? Nine sugar and nine cream. Do you really? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is where okay. Wayne Gretzky is. Okay. Do you prefer Justin Bieber or Drake? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm old enough to be both of them's father. Oh. Uh, that's a I'm gonna close my eyes on it and throw it up in the air Drake Drake okay. all right Drizzy you heard it mm -hmm. here first yeah what is more money a toonie or a loony what is more money yeah a toonie or a loony that sounds like the old cartoons when I was growing up but they were called <laughs> loony tunes right uh, from yes. back in the day I'll say a, I'll say a loony no, everybody keeps thinking a loony is more. Yeah. A toonie is more. A so toonie is more. So that is our dollar coin and our $2 coin. 
Do you have a two dollar coin? Yeah. Let's see. Right. Yeah, <laughs> we have a two dollar coin. I'm doing pretty bad here. I follow double doubles. <laughs> okay. And if you had to hang out with either the Toronto Raptors mascot, which is the Raptor, with the Raptor. or the Toronto Maple Leafs mascot, who do you feel like would be more fun? Which is it? And the Toronto Maple Leafs mascot is a bear. I'd have to go with the Raptor. Right. You know, because we we're can. champions. Because you're champions, yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for yeah, joining well, us. I cannot wait for the next time. Damn, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you. It will be.